Ms. Chibute, why dentistry? What inspired you exactly to take that route? Um, it's quite an a, a interesting story in the sense that um, my mother's a GP and uh, I didn't want to be a doctor because she was never at home. So I just felt that I wanted to still work in health, but I didn't want to be as busy. Um, I kind of wanted when I come home, my day clocks off type of thing. Um, and yeah, that's what inspired me initially to get into dentistry. Um, so yeah, I, you could say I was in a sense uninspired by my mother's job and that led me to look for other options. Um, and while I was applying, there were two options where you had a Bachelor of Dental Surgery, which is to become a dentist. And then there was the option to be a oral hygienist, um, which is a Bachelor of Oral Health. And that's the one that I chose. So being in the dental profession means you work closely with your patients. How do you protect yourself against, uh, or especially during COVID-19? This is quite interesting because um, everyone else sort of has adapted, adapted to the dental uh, fraternity's way of doing things. That's what I've always told patients because we have actually always worn masks. We've always uh, had high levels to surface disinfectants when we clean the, the operatory. So um, we actually were used to, I think, the setting. We wear masks the whole day. We wear uh, protection eyewear. Um, it's only everyone else who all of a sudden realized, okay, you can become infected if you are not careful. Um, so to be honest, the transition was actually quite easy. Um, and yeah, we, we've got very strict protocol that we follow, which we study um, within infection control. So within that realm of work, COVID-19 didn't come as a shock to most of us. And I think um, based on not scientific statistics, but just my own interpretation of my colleagues surviving this virus, we probably took in a lot of bacteria and viruses from our patients uh, and that's kind of made our immune system strong. So we're able to kind of handle whatever is literally thrown at us. Well, we can see that you enjoy your job a lot. What would you say is the most fascinating thing about your career? Um, I love that every single day is different. No patient is alike. Um, you have to treat every patient as a, on an individual basis. Um, and I think the fact that I get to work with people is what really makes my job exciting. I could never be stuck in an administrative role. Um, in fact, before I got into dentistry, I was doing a BCom in economics and management, and I hated it. I didn't like um, where it was going and how I saw my future. So. To be honest, I, I love the fact that I work with people, that I can change lives, um, and that uh, people actually come to you at the end of the day and they're like, you know, you saved my marriage. My husband's breath was, <laughs> you know, a disaster and um, you literally cured it. So, yeah, just with the techniques and everything that we've, we've learned and studied at, um, at Varsity, we're able to change people's lives. And I think that's the, the most fulfilling part of our jobs. So at this stage, what would you say you are most proud of achieving thus far? Ooh, um, there's a lot of things that I think I could be very uh, happy about achieving. Um, but to be honest, I feel like I haven't really reached my full potential. I'm currently enrolled with the <coughs> University of Victoria. I'm trying to finish my master's in public health. Um, while... Uh, pregnant and I have twins that are less than 18 months old so um, I think the the inspiration to study came from my eldest sister Jeanette Aces she's a single mom of two raising brilliant kids and um, I think for me um, just to be inspired to continue to grow and learn and and realize that education is long-standing um, will eventually get me to the point where I can probably say, okay, maybe once I've reached my PhD level or done further studies, I'll be exceptionally proud. But at the moment, I don't think I'm, I'm quite there. Um, 
but there are a lot of things that I can be proud about. I love my family structure. I love my husband. I love my home. I love my dogs. So yeah, those things make me really proud. Now, lastly, if you were to give advice to young Namibian girls about how to live a successful and fulfilled life, what advice would you give? Um, number one is you have to focus on working on yourself um, and trying to be the best version of yourself. You're not competing against anyone. And um, to become as independent as possible. I know that there are men out there who are intimidated by women who earn more than them, who work hard, who might be quite well established. Don't ever stop chasing your careers or um, not becoming your full potential because you're scared of not landing with somebody. The right man will find you within your setting as long as you chase your career. You have to be independent. You have to work hard. Um, it's something that I, I love uh, about my husband and I is we've always sort of been a team. We work hard, we build together. And I think um, Thank women you so should much. try to aspire to be independent. Thank you so much, Lizette Shibute, uh, registered dental hygienist. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for having me.